Hi there and welcome back to the M5 Stack official channel. It's that time of year again and we're feeling very festive here at M5. So this time we decided to do a bit of festive programming. This time we're going to be using Python to program some images on the front of the M5 Stack screen. And we'll be going step by step through the Python code to show you how images can be displayed and also text on the M5. So uh, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So here we are in the regular UI flow interface, but this time we're going to click over to the Python tab and we'll remove this stuff. We're not going to need it. First, what we're going to do is we're going to clear the screen but this number in here might be a little bit confusing for those who are not too familiar with hex code. So what we're going to do, we're going to use one of the inbuilt color commands. There are 19 of these different colors that are already pre-programmed and I've listed them here on the right. Let's have a look at the API here, which is on our GitHub documents page. We can see lots of the different commands here with a brief explanation. So now let's boot up our M5 and connect it to the UI flow interface with our API key. And then we're going to run this command. And watch, you can see now that the screen has been cleared with the black color. So next, we're going to put some text on there, a festive message, Merry Christmas. And followed by the message in the quotation marks, we need to add in the X, Y coordinates on the screen, followed by another color. And as you can see now, we have Merry Christmas in red. But this text is kind of boring, so we can define a different font and move it a little bit more central. So let's have a look at the fonts that are available to us with the M5 stack. I've listed here 13 fonts that are predefined in this uh, MicroPython firmware. So I like the Minya, so I'm going to choose the Minya font. And then we'll send it over again. Now this is looking much nicer, much more festive. So now we've got the message down, uh, we ought to start by building our tree. And of course we can use some simple filled triangles. There are empty triangles also, but we're going to be using the filled shapes for this tutorial. So we have the X, Y coordinates of each position followed by the color. And just a brief explanation here. First we'll type in the fill triangle command. And then I've made this graphic to roughly explain the concepts that we're dealing with here. There are the X coordinate for the first left most point and then the furthest right most point and then the, the apex of the triangle. And these are all separated by commas. And so we input these values. I haven't put the values for the other triangles. You can choose those values as you see fit. But as you can see, the screen width is 320 pixels by 240 pixels. Okay, now my values are done. We're also going to be selecting a nice green. We'll send that over. And there we have it. We have the nice green triangle. And so we're going to be reusing this command. All we need to do is change the values so that we draw a bigger triangle lower down on the screen. So I'm just going to enter these values quickly. You can pause the values Pause the video and enter these values um, as you see I have, as I filled them out or you can experiment by changing different values. And then as you see each time I'm going to send it to the screen. Okay, now we've done the tree, we want to do the trunk. So we've got the draw rect there but we can also use fill rect. All of these shapes we can use fill on the command. So we can see down there the top left corner and the bottom right corner are the values we're going to need and also the width and the height and I'm going to put it in a nice maroon color and there we have it okay now our tree is looking a little bit plain 
So now we ought to add some nice balls to the tree, baubles, trinkets, whatever you want to call them. And we can use some filled circles for these. Okay, and this is the central point. And then we'll input a radius of 10. And of course, we'll give it a color. A nice festive red. And there we have it, one ball on the tree. You can put as many as you want. And of course, we're just going to copy this command and then change the XY coordinates. You could even change the radius for bigger or smaller balls on the tree. It's entirely up to you. And then we can choose different colors for each of those balls. So I'm just going to fill these out quick. And uh, each time I put in a new one, I'm going to update it on the screen. And now you can see our Christmas tree is starting to look a lot more nicer, a lot more festive. And we're almost finished now. And there we have it. A good, a nice Christmas tree. And I'll just put a Merry Christmas message down there to you all. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this and there'll be more Python videos coming in the future. Hi everyone. Hi. We'd like to thank you for all of your support in the year 2018. We've had a great year. We've learned a lot of lessons and we've made a lot of cool stuff. And we'd like to continue to improve M5 Stack in the new year, making it easier for everyone to be able to get started with programming and create their own IoT solutions. So from all of us here at M5 Stack, we'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas. One, two, three. Merry!